So today is the day that we're going to start our manual swap on the blue 240. I say blue, but it's really, it's like green, purple. It's, I don't know, it's crazy. Like it's green there, but then like purple down here. But the color is called blue. I'm going to try to go step for step on how to do all this. Um, I, I watch videos and there's not a good solid video out there on how to do this step for step. So I think I'm going to do that. I I know there's wiring and there's there's stuff you got to do other than just putting a manual in here there's wiring and stuff that goes with it and I think that's where most people get scared is with wiring so we're just um I'm gonna go grab the parts that I have I have to order some stuff so the video is going to be shot over a couple of days as usual this will be an in-depth video so if that's what you're about to do to your car and you want to watch and see how everything is done stick around because the whole video is going to be in-depth it may be a part video like first part second part third part but either way the details will be there on the whole swap so all right so we got the car in the canopy which is what i would say is part one is to just get the car somewhere where it can be for about a week just in case you got to order parts i'll just put a quick list up right now of the parts that you'll need um if there's anything missing, it shouldn't be too big, but I'll put that up right now. Alright, so I got the tranny over here. I've got, you know, the clutch pedal and stuff. The first part, in my opinion, to this whole deal will probably be getting the clutch pedal in. Um, it's going to be a pain. That's probably what we're going to do first, is like clutch pedal. Uh, getting the automatic shifter out and stuff like so so without further ado i'm gonna get under here take a look get ready and then tell you guys how to do it so first parts first i went ahead and removed the battery um and the steering wheel for more room which takes a safety torque it looks like a 50 so that's that i went ahead and removed this ecu from this area where the clutch is going to be the the clutch pedal that's for you know just it just makes it a lot easier to work on stuff like that um it was two tens you know you just take this off the kick panel off and then you can get access to this which gives you really good access to where the clutch holes are gonna be because it sits right here in front of it i'm gonna go ahead and open that up and see exactly what kind of drilling it looks like we're gonna be doing so it looks like it's gonna be fairly easy you know, it's it's pretty self-explanatory on where everything's supposed to go. We'll go out here, take a look at the clutch pedal. I'll find a drill bit that matches those. And then I'll get like a, maybe a hole saw or something to go through the, uh, to go through the middle. Maybe a air bit will work. But it'll come out right there. So, as you can see, the clutch pedal's in. Those drill marks did work. I'm going to cut some of the uh, insulation from around it. But yeah, I mean, it, that's it. It worked. That's as easy as that to get the clutch pedal itself in. Now, for this part, I probably need the actual like clutch master itself but if you can see right here she can't there's a hole right there you can see it kind of and it's to bolt that up but there's a whole lot of play like, there's a whole lot of room with the clutch pedal itself so Before I decide if that's where I need to bolt this up at, I'm gonna go get the actual like clutch itself, the, the clutch master. And then we'll go from there on exactly where to bolt this stuff up at. But as soon as this is in, that's one of the hardest parts is getting the clutch and you know the master set up and then getting your line ran down to the slave. Um, to me, that was my biggest worry. The rest of it is 
pretty easy. Um, but I'm a good AutoZone. Order one of them. Hopefully it'll be here today. Maybe not. But for y'all, it'll be like 10 seconds. So it's been a while since I shot this video. But I was waiting on, on the Master. Um, in the meantime, I actually got the Red 240 running, driving. And it's going to be sold this week. Um, I didn't record any of that. That was a... That car was an overnight deal. Somebody needed a car, they wanted it. They wanted it by the end of the week, and it was like. But in the midst of doing all that, I actually sold my five speed for this car. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with the SR20, but let me know if you want to see, you know, the full swap in detail. It is a lot. Um, but I can continue doing it with, you know, the SR20, I can continue the videos. But I think we left off here. With this being drilled and done, I bought an ISR line. This is a swap line. I think this was around $36, I think. But I got the ISR swap line. Um, and I bought the equal. I mean, this is just what you sent me, but the master. This master is also on eBay if you wanted to do a master line shifter deal or something like that. They had a bunch of it for a base price. But I would I would much rather have an ISR line than like an equal line. I don't I don't know about that company, but this should just simply float down in here now. Oh, it's gonna be a pain. Which is perfect. I mean, that's exactly how I want it, is to be a pain in the ass. I wouldn't be doing something right if it wasn't a pain. But that's just going to sit in there now. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can get it fully out. But I'll, sh I'll kind of show you why I was waiting on that. So if we get down in here and take a gander, that master hooks up like right in there. So that's why I was waiting on that was to get, you know, the master in and hooked up to this before I bolt them all down. But, um, that's pretty much it for the clutch pedal. Trying to see where you even bolt it at. But I'll fidget with it for a second and then come back to this and hopefully show you where I bolted it if I can get the camera there. I'm really, really crammed in here, but you should be able to see right there on the side, that top bolt hole, that is where you're going to bolt it up. You can see the, the master line coming in, but that's where it's all going to bolt up. Um, you'll also put, you know, that bolt in, which I would suggest doing first, but I'm, you know, six foot one and over 200 pounds so I'm like crammed crammed in here but that's how you'll do that and that should be it for the inside of the car from what from what I believe so far and then of course you'll put this ECU back in not sure what that controls but you'll put that back in um, for my returning subscribers um, we got good news and bad news and good news and hella news the good news is the gold car got shipped off this morning to get the frame straightened out. So that car in the LS build should be happening very, very, very soon. The second thing is the red car, unfortunately, didn't become a part of the channel. I hate that, but it's one of those things where it really wasn't worthy of the channel. It just got slung together and I mean, it, it's cool. Um, I actually had it running for like 30, 45 seconds, but I think the gas is way too dead in the car to keep it going. So I feel like running off starter fluid right now. This car's SR20 is going to start getting built within the month. That's pretty much it for getting the clutch pedal and the master in. Then once you run your line, it'll go down to the slave. And most of that part's done. The rest will just be wiring and putting the transmission in. And if you, if you can't put a transmission in without somebody helping you, I mean, that's you probably shouldn't be doing this swap at all. But... Like I said, if you like this video and you really want to see a full in detail of how to, because I haven't seen it on YouTube yet, everybody just kind of like, is like, well, you'll go here and do this. And then they won't show you how they did it. 
um, just let me know and I'll continue with this and everything I do according to the manual swap I will make a video of so until the next one guys again this is gonna be on mountain camber so let me know how y'all guys are liking the new channel um, and until the next one have a good day